Action. Thank you. <laughs> Are you saying to watch me? <laughs> Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited that you're here today. I am going to show you how to do two super on trend Christmas DIY crafts that are using thrifted materials. So it's not going to cost much and it's gonna make your place look amazing this holiday season. So to start, I'm using this really fancy tablecloth, and this is whenever I use paint, or I'm gonna do a little bit of spray paint. I know that's a little crazy in the kitchen, but it's really cold outside, just started snowing today, and I'm only gonna spray paint a little bit, so I'm gonna be wild and just do this in here. Probably don't recommend that at home. So what are we making? To start, we are gonna make embroidery hoop Christmas wreaths. And these are so on trend this year. I actually found this at the thrift store. I don't even know how old this is. I'm gonna guess at least 20 to 30 years old. It might even be older than I am. This was 50 cents at the thrift store. So we're gonna take this apart and I'm actually gonna give it a quick spray paint. And then I also found this piece of Christmas greenery at the thrift store for a dollar. And I'm gonna take some pieces. I don't want this whole thing because I also have some fresh picks here that I got at the craft store. And these I got on their 50 or 60% off sale. So these were all about 50 cents a pick. So the, this is a super inexpensive Christmas craft. Now typically I would have liked to have gotten everything at the thrift store, but as you know, thrift stores aren't predictable with their supplies. So I, I wanted a group of three wreaths over my mantle. And so I actually did pick up these two, they're brand new from my local craft store. They were $3 for the big one and $1.50 for the little one. When this craft is all said and done, it will be less than $10 to make these super cool, super trendy Christmas wreaths. The second craft we're gonna do, I am so excited. I actually did this once already, a, a small little one for our bedroom makeover that I hope you've watched the video for that. If you haven't, I'll link it here. But I did a small one and I realized after that I didn't take a before and after picture or do a video and I thought people, should know how to do this. So we are gonna take this super old school brass domed clock and we are going to turn it into a super cool, I think they're called a cloche. Well, the top part is called a cloche at least. You see these all over the place in high-end design. I think Restoration Hardware and Anthropology sell these for a lot of money. This was about $6 at my local thrift store. So we are going to take it all apart. We're gonna paint out the base and I am going to put in some pine cones in here. You could put in all kinds of things. So let's get to it. Okay, to start, I am going to start with my clock because I'm gonna paint the bottom and it's probably gonna need a couple coats of paint. Now I'm just gonna use this acrylic paint with a foam brush. However, white spray paint would be better but I don't have any white spray paint. And I wanted to try to keep these crafts as inexpensive as possible. So we're just gonna use what I already had, and that's fine. The one that we did in our room, my husband actually used a Dremel, which is a tool, and he cut these parts off. And today I looked under here and there was a plate sitting here and I unscrewed it and then I looked in here and sure enough, there are some screws holding this clock in here. So we're gonna try and unscrew it. All right, now look at that. We just got all these pieces off. Now, if you're putting something smaller on this, you may want to use a Dremel tool or some kind of saw to get these knobs off. But you know what? We're gonna pile on some pine cones, so you're hopefully not even gonna be able to see what the base looks like. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I'm gonna go ahead and we are going to paint it. I'm just using this Martha Stewart white acrylic paint. Thank you. 
good news about acrylic paint is that it dries super quickly. So we're just gonna put that aside, let it dry, and we will do another coat in a few minutes. Moving on to our second craft. We are first going to start by unscrewing this really beautiful embroidery hoop. <laughs> Sorry, that's just mean, isn't it? <laughs> okay, all jokes aside, let's get rid of that. Now let's tighten this back up. There we go. So let's go ahead and move everything aside and get ready to paint. Don't try this at home. Go outside. All right, so our embroidery hoops have dried, and while they were drying, what I did is I actually pulled apart that greenery that I had got from the thrift store. I used these little nippers to cut them apart, and then what I'm doing is now I'm just laying them out to see how it's gonna look and come together. So I've already gone ahead and I've done this big one here, and so as you can see, I cut apart the bigger piece and then I took one of my snowy picks and I have just some of this silver wire here and I just went round and round and round and attached it and I did that for this one too and so as you can see here it is starting to come together you see that at the bottom and then I'm gonna have a bow I made a couple of bows from the tree ribbon that I had left over. That so now I've gone ahead for my medium size hoop and I did the same thing here. I took two green stems and then I took my another white pick. Now I did cut off one of the branches because I felt it was a little heavy for this. So now I'm gonna show you, we're gonna take this pick and this piece of greenery and look, see, it, it had pine cones on it and you can still see that there's gross pine cone glue. Doesn't matter, don't worry about that because the pick is gonna hide that. So kind of layer it like you want and take your wire and just wrap it around. All right, so for the small one, I'm gonna go ahead, because it's so small, I'm just going to go ahead and build it right onto the hoop. So to start, I'm actually gonna put a bead of hot glue along the bottom and place it, just to hold it into place. All right, so we've got our bottom green layer on. So now I'm gonna add in a couple of these white pieces that we cut off of the larger picks and layer them on top. So for the last thing to add to cover all of this, you are going to put a nice ribbon. So now I do have a couple of pearl picks that I think I'm just gonna add in loosely to kind of fill in some of the spots. Look how simple that was. This cost me maybe, maybe a dollar if you add all of the materials up. Using the last little bit of spray paint that I had, this hoop, oh no, this was a brand new hoop I got and this was about a dollar fifty. Okay, so maybe two dollars. All right, so we've got that one done. Let's move on to our medium sized one now. So I have the larger picks ready and in place, so I am going to get some glue on these and secure them. I am gonna add in these rose gold kind of picks because I think they're really pretty and that just adds another layer to it, it's super pretty. So now we're gonna go in and do our bow. There is the second one. All right, and on to our last one. And 
there you have your three embroidery hoop briefs. All right, friends, we are back. Our base for our cloche is dry. And so what I'm gonna do now is I have a bunch of these, they're kind of like whitewashed pine cones that have a little bit of gold glitter on the ends. And then I'm actually, a few of the little balls that I pulled off of the picks from the embroidery hoop wreaths, I'm actually gonna put them in this mix. So the easiest way to do this is to actually fill up your cloche here with the different things that you want. We're gonna just stack it. And it's gonna look so pretty. So you're just gonna put the base on and you're gonna flip it. Now you're probably gonna need to kind of move it around a little bit, especially because these pine cones are a, little, a couple different sizes, but look at that. Anthropology, eat your heart out, baby. That is a beautiful looking cloche, upscaled dome clock. Well, that's it for today, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've been inspired to create some super inexpensive, beautiful, thrifted Christmas crafts for your home this holiday season. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and we'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button so that you can stay in the know for all our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching, and we will catch you next time. Bye.